Hey everyone, this is Mukesh Utwani once again from learn-invention.com. Today in this video, we are going to talk about very important question again. Explain constructor overloading in Selenium. If you come across this question, then again they can ask in multiple formats. One format they can ask explain constructor overloading and how you have used in Selenium web driver. Explain constructor overloading in your project. Explain constructor overloading in your framework. So before we do that, uh, I already published one video how you can explain method overloading. In the same way, you have to explain constructor overloading, but examples will be different. So quick recap, polymorphism is one of the OOPS concept, which says one thing can have multiple forms. Again, divided into two, overloading and overriding. Overloading, method overloading and constructor overloading. Method overloading already covered. I will give you the link in the description. So if you're completely new, I would highly recommend you to watch the previous uh, video so that you will get a fair idea. Then we have constructor overloading, which we are going to see now. Apart from that, we have overriding, which is again, when you have same method in base class and child class, you are overriding the base class method. So we are going to talk about constructor overloading. Before we discuss constructor overloading, overloading means one method or constructor can have multiple forms with different signature. Signature consists of three things, number of arguments, type of argument, order of argument. Yeah. So the moment you write first line of code in Selenium, you will see constructor overloading. And that is the best way to explain in interviews that uh, while writing your first line of script, the moment you write web driver, driver, go to a new Chrome driver, Chrome driver constructor is overloaded. So let me show you. Just write constructor overloading example. So first of all, what is constructor? Constructor is a special method which have the same name as the class name and it will invoke automatically the moment you create object. If you're completely new to constructor, constructor overloading, I will also link my previous videos where I explained what is constructor, how do we use, when do we use and so on. The moment I write web driver, driver equal to new Chrome driver, can you see a constructor Chrome driver is a class. What we are doing in this case, when I just say Chrome driver, we are actually creating object of Chrome driver. And since we are not passing any argument, it's a zero argument constructor. But notice here, we have so many constructor. Constructor with zero argument, constructor with one argument, constructor with one argument, but notice the type here. Here it is taking Chrome driver service. Here it is taking Chrome options. Now notice the th fourth and fifth Chrome driver constructor, right? Number of arguments two and two, but sorry, two and three. So number of argument changed two and three. And the third argument is one additional, which is client config. So this is how you can explain. You can say when we are starting with Selenium, if we want to invoke our browser without any settings, without any profile, if we directly use zero argument constructor, it invokes a browser without any setting. But let's say if we have to pass any proxy, any arguments, then we can use the parameterized constructor where it depends on what argument we pass, our browser will start with that particular option. I will show you an example, then you have more clarity. So to show you this, if I just execute this piece of code, it is going to start my Chrome, right? And since we have not passed any URL, any configuration, it's a fresh Chrome session with default settings. But let's say if I want to pass some argument, first of all, let me pass one application URL. Let's say I want to open my blog and simply I want to get the title. So driver dot get title and then I will close it. Again execute this. You can see the browser is opening. 
it will load the URL which is my blog and once the page will load it will print the title and it will close so once it is done once the page loaded completely now it is capturing the title which is automation selenium web drive tutorials one uh, step by step and it's closing now let me show you one parameterized constructor so that you will have more clarity see guys we have options class for every browser for chrome we have chrome options for firefox firefox options for edge edge options for safari safari options basically this options class will help you to customize the browser arguments profiles any settings that you want to change let's say for this example i want to run my test in headless mode headless mode means i want to run uh, in non gui mode which means you will not see the browser but my test will be running and you will get the results so for that again let's say if i create object of chrome options and to run in headless mode we use one argument call hyphen hyphen headless and with new version you can also type hyphen hyphen headless equal to new now i can pass this options reference in the constructor so now i am using parameterized constructor of chrome driver which takes one argument which is chrome options so constructor overloading now you will notice it you will not see any ui it will run i will get the title and it will close execute this once again you can see it started but i'm not able to see anything on the ui my test will run and i will get the results so let it run in the meanwhile same thing you can explain for firefox can you see firefox also have multiple constructor zero argument one argument one argument two arguments three arguments constructor overloading try the same thing for edge browser you can see we have six no again five zero one two three four zero argument one argument one argument two argument three arguments so stick to this example and you can see we got the result since it was taking some time in the meanwhile explained uh, other browser constructor if you want to see chrome driver is a separate class and this is their constructor zero argument constructor constructor with one argument with chrome driver service constructor one argument but with chrome options which we used just now in similar way other constructor if you want to explain more examples then let me show you one more see the moment you start working with web driver wait okay so let's say if i go ahead and create object of web driver wait can see three different constructor first constructor says you give me web driver reference and give me duration second constructor says you give me driver give me duration and duration which is actually the sleep again one more constructor which says driver timeout sleep clock and sleeper so same constructor basically three different constructor with the same name but signature is different signature number of arguments type of argument and order of argument so again if you are completely new to what is explicit weight fluent weight then i would recommend my previous videos once again and all these things that we are discussing relevant videos i will be giving in the description of this video so to summarize how you can explain constructor overloading in selenium you can say uh, constructor overloading we have used in our current project every time we have to make some changes or customize some browser settings we use chrome options and these chrome options we pass in the uh, constructor of respective browsers so if i'm using chrome i will use chrome options if i use firefox i will use firefox options if i use edge i will use edge driver basically edge options so this is how you can explain second example you can tell we have used constructor overloading again with explicit weight every time when we create object uh, web driver weight have multiple overloaded constructor 
so depends on what argument we are passing we are getting the weight reference which is type of web driver weight and then we are using but in order to explain them first you should understand what is constructor what is constructor overloading then only you can explain constructor overloading in selenium web driver I hope you got some clarity. If you still have any questions, let me know in the comment section. If you are looking for more videos or any question that you're not able to answer, let me know. And by any chance, if this video helped you, then do sh share this video with your colleagues. Subscribe to this channel and I will see you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye. Take care.